the big time. Who is Randy? Don't bring anyone mother into this. Your mom in the fucking stand. I'm doing comedy for like a year and a half. Uh, Wilmer Valderrama spots me at the Laugh Factory Latino night because I'm riffing on Fools in the Crowd. I don't have material yet. I'm trying to find material. Yeah. So I'm riffing, you know? I don't even know setup, timing, none of that shit yet. I'm new. They just threw me in this shit because I'm quick. Right. So I do MTV Your Mama. Oh, I remember that show. Yeah. And yeah. I'm, I'm winning. So I'm, I'm in wow. like the last round now. I'm DJing at a strip club now because I'm doing comedy at night. So I DJ at a strip club in the daytime. It's a fucking Friday, six o'clock. I'm off work a half an hour. I don't know where the fucking gang unit comes in, kicks the doors down at a fucking strip club. And I'm DJing. And I don't even dress like a gangster no more. I'm, I'm wearing like a Dave Chappelle. I'm trying to dress like Dave Chappelle. Remember I used to wear those ones on a Chappelle show? Yeah, yeah. Like the jogger shit? Yeah. And, and then like they're like, where's George Perez? And I'm just sitting there going, what the fuck is going on? Were you that startled by it? Yeah. You're like, what? Yeah. And then my manager's like, he's right here. I'm oh, like, fuck, dude. <laughs> <laughs> this guy. That's who you want. <laughs> oh, no. So I get locked up. Oh. Uh, how, how quickly when you get locked up do you know why you're locked up? Right? Because at first you're well, like. Well, they tell you why. Right you know, away? Yeah. You know what? Like. See, I'm not charged with crime. Know what the story is. is now, hold on. How part. old are you? Just so I have context. You're 22. 22. You have two children at this point. Yes. Two baby mamas. Mm -hmm. You're working your your day job, and you you're in showbiz. You're on a TV show. Yeah. So you're, you're successful. No, we don't now. even know if it's gonna make it yet. This is the we're like we're shooting. Oh, it's it. a pilot. It's kind of not the pilot, but it is. Okay. It's like it's weird. Okay, so you're on your way. You're living your life. You're you're going. Yeah, exactly. Wow, thanks for reminding me. <laughs> yeah. No, nah, because it's kind of like, fuck, I do remember. Like, yeah, I remember. Like, I wasn't gangbanging or nothing. How long had it been since you'd, you'd been gangbanging? It's been like a year and a half. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm still in the streets, but I'm not at the parties and stuff like that, yeah. you know? And, uh, yeah, it was weird, though, because before you, when you go to the county, you go to the county first. No, what happened? They take me and they interrogate me. Oh yeah, they're like you're like, hey, uh, you see this guy? You beat him up. I beat this guy up at the park playing basketball. I kicked his fucking ass, <laughs> like kicked his ass. Like I won't. You see that scar right there? Yeah. yeah, yeah. It's it's. I kicked his fucking ass. This is uh, from playing. Were you, were you guys? Yeah, playing we're playing ball? ball, and I'm real good at basketball. Okay, real good. And I was clowning this fool. You know, I could talk shit. Sure. So you're getting scored on, and this fool swings on me and like misses, and I remember just. Like body slamming, punching, all kinds of shit. Fucked him up. Fucked him up. Like so bad that people were like, just get in your car and get the hell out of here. Oh. So that's what I'm in here for. And I'm just going, you know how you sit in your head thinking you know everything? Yeah. Man, these motherfuckers don't got shit on me. Eh? This shit happened four years ago, maybe three four years. Four years yeah, ago? Yeah. Yeah. He didn't know who I was. And no one at the park was going to say shit because I was a bad motherfucker back yeah, then. Yeah. They were like, hey, homie, we don't know who did it. You know, money talks and bullshit fucking walks. Somebody fucking came through. This was a rumor that I heard that some punk ass for I used to kick her with that I used to, I boned his lady. You know how fucking guys are. Oh, he boned my lady. Fuck him. He should get locked up. Gives my name up. The guy sees me on TV on Yo Mama. The guy that I beat up. No. What? So he's on your mama, and the guy's Shut like, the "That's the guy that kicked my ass." Fuck up! It's your worst nightmare. But here's a here's a thing, man. It's four years ago that you beat this guy up. How can he be sure he can positively ID you? Do you know what I mean? You change in four His years. His sister's DA. Ah, oh. Riverside. His sister's DA. Yeah, Riverside, and it's oh. it's not in mine. But you know, they got connections. They yeah, talk. Of course. You know what I mean? So you know, you. I mean, imagine you. You're the judge and you look it up and you're like, oh shit, this guy already has two gun possessions. Oh, no. Tagging, fucking curfew as a kid. Oh, it was almost in juvenile hall. So they're just like, yeah, yeah. so you know, I didn't lawyer up or nothing. Oh I, no. I, yeah, I was just like, so what's up? And they were like, well, you're gonna go to the county and you gotta go to court. And you know, my brothers, my family works. They got money, but I've yeah. never asked them for nothing. So I call my brother up. Hey dog, I need to get bailed out. I'm doing real good in my life right now. I, I'm a, I'm not even done filming MTV Yo Mama. We're not even done because we were still going to do season three. This is season one. So, mm -hmm. and he also must think at first when you call, like, 
you just did some shit. But the irony is that you hadn't done some shit. Exactly. In a while. Yeah. It was it was funny. I remember what, I remember this Cholo told me, "Hey, homie, you got time for doing time." <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and I was like, "Fuck!" So now I'm out of court and I'm fighting this shit. Now I I lawyered up. Mm -hmm. I'm fighting it, and I just filmed the Showtime special with Joey Diaz. Mm -hmm. At this time, that, yeah. You're cute. As I'm fighting this now, how is I mean the stress of that? Did you I'm sleep just at not, night? Of like, course, but I'm just ugh. not thinking. It's I have so much other shit going on in my life. So wait, the your your brother did bail you out. Yeah, my brother bails me out, and then you get a lawyer. Yeah, okay. and and then isn't this basically a case of a guy being like, that's the guy, like that's the evidence, essentially, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. And then are you is the what what does the the lawyer tell you is the well the lawyer's like check this out this happened at the area your gang hangs out you're known for playing basketball at this oh, park fuck you know it, yeah. it, it was by my house kind of where i grew up and yeah, yeah. it's it's all bad bro so it's like he's like plea deal like that's is that what he well that him? this is where i fucked up the the guy was like look man i remember one time he's like hey I'll, we're gonna we're gonna give you eight years because oh. i broke his eye socket so it's oh. a great bodily injury adds three years fuck Excuse me. And I'm just going there like, can I just do weekends? <laughs> right. <laughs> like, like, I got to film a TV show. Yeah. Bro. yeah I'm so, busy right yeah, now, man. I was like, you know what? Fuck Showtime it. special. You know, you talk to other gang members that don't know shit and they're like, hey, homie, just take it to the box. At the end of the day, they're going to see the evidence is low and they're going to offer you three years. Take it and do halftime. And I'm like, <sighs> Let's see what happens, you know? So my, my lawyer's postponing it, postponing it, postponing it. It finally gets to the point where the judge is like, look, three years. I can't give you half, but I'll give you 80%. And the lawyer doesn't even know I'm a comedian now. I do charities and shit. So yeah. mm. I fire this lawyer. I get another lawyer. I'm going to win. Nope. I lost. July. What was it? It was July 16, 2009. No, 2006. I got out in 09. And I remember I stand in front of the, the judge and he was just like, yo, man, we find you guilty, bro. Is that how he sentenced you? <laughs> <No>. <laughs> it was weird. I, I remember his name, Judge Wapner. Cause, <laughs> yeah, it's, the that's, People's Court? Yeah, that's the craziest You were convicted shit. in the People's Court? The, you know, what's funny is I never watch fucking People's Court. <laughs> <laughs> and so I told someone else, they said the same shit. And I remember like, fuck. So when they say you're guilty, you don't get a sentencing. They don't sentence you that yet. You go to a sentencing trial next. Oh, fuck. So the now, stress wait. of it, you don't even know how Just much so your I, life is ruined. You have to wait under, for the next fucking thing. I want to understand this. <sighs> uh -huh. So for the for Judge Wapner's thing, was Judge this a jury trial? Yeah, jury. So fuck. you went to, you did a full trial. Full trial. Fuck. And was your defense? I didn't do. I wasn't. I didn't even go up there. But My, did your defend? Did your lawyer say like that wasn't him? Is that what the defense was? No. Like, the 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 defense was is look. George plays basketball a lot there. George did not do this to this guy. He okay. might have. Because I told that for look. We got to be honest, dog. At the end of the day, the lawyer is gonna. The judges get. How I look at it, judges look at you and they're like, if you're a fucking liar, we're gonna lock you up. Right. Mm. And I wasn't lying. I told yeah. that for, I'm not going to sit up there. I can't lie yeah. like that. Like, right. Yeah, I didn't do that. Like, I would have laughed. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? Because sure. of my sense of humor. Sure. I would have been like, you But stupid. the defense was, George <laughs> plays there a lot. He goes yes. there. But yeah. that's not, he, he didn't, yeah. he didn't he do, didn't that do it. Look at him. He's a, you know, now he knows I'm a comedian. Right. He knows I'm a good dad. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, dude, he's not even owing child support. Like, what the fuck's going on? And then all these letters, I had everyone write letters. Because I'm fine. When, when you fight it, I had a lawyer so I can fight it out. Now that the, ju the judge said, you're guilty, they put me in jail. <sighs> so now I'm in jail and I can't fight this and I'm waiting for sentencing. Fuck. So I'm thinking in my head, fuck, I'm going to get seven years. You know, you're not even thinking, oh, I'm going to do comedy. I'm more like, fuck, my family, my kids. Yeah. And then boom. Ha. <sighs> The judge Wapner came out from people's court. <laughs> Motherfucker. He was like, Mr. Perez, I'm going to give you three years with halftime. He's like, you know, you look like a lot of good people came and spoke for you. 
You know, it's weird because I wanted to cry, bro, but there's so many other inmates there. Like, if I cry, I'm at the answer to that shit. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm just there, like, fuck. Yeah. You know, happy as hell. You know, dude, at this time, I got my girlfriend pregnant. Like, she's pregnant with my daughter. Fuck. Wow. I wasn't there for my daughter when she was born, bro. Like, I'm going through shit yeah. in my head right sure. now. Sure. And then, boom. <laughs> 